Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you three more Padlet features that have recently been added for the back to school season. In my previous video, I showed you how to use the new AI feature in Padlet called I Can't Draw. And in this video, we'll take a look at some other new features. So first of all, just a refresher, if you want to add a new note to your Padlet.com walls, you can do so by double clicking, double tapping if you're on a mobile device, or clicking on the little plus button in the bottom right hand corner. And I point that out because the first thing I want to show you is when you add a new note right now, like this one here, you can now add things in from your Google Drive. So I'm going to write here, demo Google Drive item. And now let's click on the more attachment types and we'll see Google Drive. And I'm going to now connect my Google Drive. And I'm going to authorize it here. You can see there it is, right? And now let's continue. And now I can go into my Google Drive and I can pull all kinds of things like perhaps my slideshow about search strategies. And so now I can include my search strategies slideshow in my Padlet note and go ahead and publish that and we'll see it right there. Now I have that slideshow inside of my new Padlet note. Now, you might have noticed when I double click there, I had another new option, and that is the option to conduct a poll. So let's call this one sample poll. And let's go back in and create a poll. And I can post this for my class to respond to. Let's ask them a question and let's say, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And we might say vanilla, chocolate, Sherry Garcia, or something else. And now let's add in our new poll and go ahead and publish it. There's my new sample poll for people to respond to on my Padlet wall. Now, the last thing that I want to show you deals with responses to your Padlets or additions to your Padlets. Let's go over here to the right hand side as the teacher. I'm going to open my Padlet settings and let's go here to the options for posting. And we'll see down here under moderation, we have a new feature called auto. And that automatically tries to detect inappropriate things as determined by safety net AI moderation, which is now integrated into Padlet. So you can turn that on as well as a profanity filter, or you can use the good old manual option to manually moderate every submission to your Padlet wall. So those are three new features of Padlet for the back to school season. I think that you'll like them if you give them a try. And if you missed my video about using Padlet's new AI feature, that's linked up in the description down below. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.